Aaron here from Aaron's Magic, and today I am unboxing and reviewing and reviewing the Nitro RC car. Now I will start it up today, um, but it's currently night, so I don't really want to wake the neighbours because it's so loud. Because uh, I've seen people do reviews on it on YouTube uh. before. So <clears throat> let's get into it. Oh, it felt sexy. This is a Nitro RC car. I've already got fuel that's downstairs. What does Nitro mean then? Nitro means basically the car has a engine in it. I love these things. Oh, good game. Why does it look so dark? No, so there it is, guys. Here it is. The night so here it is, guys. It's one sixteenth scale nitro stadium truck and buggy. Now, I've got the buggy. This was a used one from Nitro Tech. It's four wheel drive. And let's get into it. So it was used, so it will smell like petrol. So. First of all, I see it, it's a really nice buggy right here with the pool star there. Let's get him out. Actually, no, I'll save that to last. We're going to look what's inside of this box first. The box is fairly dirty, but like I said, it was used. So, in here we have our transmitter and a bunch of other stuff. I think this little cable here is to pair the controller and thing <laughs> and some stickers uh, a new servo thing and another thing but it's a fairly nice controller it comes with batteries it's got a little aerial here uh, yeah it's a nice gun effect and uh, this says release so oh great there's a hell one Ah, that's where the batteries go, as you can see, there is some batteries in there, which is great. <coughs> so there's all that. Next we're going to move on to the Nitro car itself. Now this is what the Nitro engine looks like on the inside, right there. So let's get to the car itself. Two little foam pads to keep it in its position, and here it is. Now this is the Nitro RC car. Uh, I'll open it for you guys so I can show you the inside of what one of these so look like. <sighs> I think this comes with batteries as well, I'm not too sure. But here you can tell it's being used. Uh, looks like it has some fuel still in that. But that would be dangerous to pack in there, wouldn't it? Yeah, it does. Um, well, anyway. This is basically it. This is the pool starter. There. And we got the little exhaust here. And it is four wheel drive, as you can see. The differential is working on both of them. That's the air filter. I believe the batteries for this car. Done doing that. And yeah, there we go. That takes four triple A's in there, and the receiver mm. and everything else is in there. Along Dude, the there's a ghost in here. Why? It's reading a face over there. <laughs> I'm not even joking, it is. Why? I don't know. Uh, little box is coming up for a face. Alright, let's see if this thing will turn on because it looks like both of them has batteries. Turn on the controller first and switch on the RC car. Right, so that seems to be working. Basically, this is what happens the little air filter allows air to get in to the nitro part 
So that's what starts it up. And there isn't a reverse on this, it's just a brake. Because you need a really heavy brake because this goes up to something like 35 miles an hour or something like that. Yeah. So you said like there were 70 miles. Yeah, no, like. <laughs> but anyway. <sighs> It's quite nice, the suspension is very good on it. And I'll start it up for you guys. Really? <laughs> Not here. No. Oh. You mean tomorrow? No, I mean today, but. I'm not doing it just yet. You don't need to cover your ears. So, you guys, first thing we need to do is get our nitro fuel. Ugh, nitro fuel. Josh is looking through the window because he's so scared. Uh. Get the nitro fuel, make sure to put your RC car before starting on a piece of wood. Now I need to see what I'm doing, so I'm just going to flip this up. Get, so make sure to put it on a piece of wood. And how you fill it, open up the fuel tank, and just place <laughs> some fuel in there. Just like so. Only do about half a tank on the first run and make sure to put the cap back on top of the fuel. And minimum is now chucking things at me. So make sure to turn on your car like that. Okay? And then turn on the transmitter. Make sure they both work. There we go. Now what we need to do is start up the engine. So how you do that? So you get your glue plug, which is here, and it has a battery on the end, and you stick it inside the blue thing right there. And this is what you do to start it. So first of all, to prime the engine, <laughs> to prime the engine, what you have to do is hold the bit of the exhaust and pull a couple times. The engine is now primed. That's only what it needs. So now I'm actually going to start up the vehicle. So this will take about five seconds. Now let's see if it will start. Here we go. This should work. Put it in there for a couple of seconds. And then, leave it in there for a couple. Leave it in there for a bit more. Alright, should be enough now. It hasn't been used for quite a while I'm reckoning because it's probably been in their warehouse for ages. So, Josh is getting anxious because he wants to hear this puppy run. So it should be ready about now, so let's try it one more time. There we have it, a fully functioning piece of technology right here. So guys, I'm going to go back upstairs and do a review on it, but that was the main feature of it, and yeah, I hope you liked that short little clip. Remember to get the nitro fuel, your bit of wood to stick it on, and your car. So I'm going to go back outside, put this away because it's highly flammable, and see you up. Oh no, why are you doing it again? So guys, I'm going to do a short review on it. I don't have the car with me because it's highly flammable and I don't want to bring it into the house. But anyway, it has what it has to offer, which is the four-wheel drive. That works fine. The suspension was a bit, you know, crooked at first, but I sorted that out. 
And basically, I think this is very, like, a very good body for it. Uh, you can see burn marks on the inside, as you can see on my finger, a bit of ash. But that's just because it overheats a bit. Now, it comes with this. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to run it fully for you guys in just a bit. And till then, yeah. Uh, my that was basically an unboxing, but the main running video will be in my vlog, which you will see soon, and you'll see it running proper. So yeah, until then, please like. Oh, you're a hey, you're Please right subscribe, up. and see you guys <laughs> in my next video.